My name is Vasav Sani, and I'm a scientist at 3M. I have always been interested in music, hip hop, and a couple of other Indian folk genres of music. When I came to the US, it was not as much the cultural barrier, but my fear of animals in general, including spiders, including even dogs. And I made the decision of choosing to do my PhD in spider webs without realizing that working with spider webs also means working with spiders, poisonous big living spiders. Just the appeal of working in, in an area that no one has been able to solve, the problems, how to mimic spider silk, how do spiders make these webs that have evolved. That was a problem that forced me to overcome some of these fears. So there are two things that I'm very passionate about outside of my life at 3M. One is to try to be a better communicator. The idea of communicating really well to different kinds of audiences is very important for me as a scientist. The second thing which I'm doing just for fun these days is, is dancing and acting. Everyone, faster, slightly faster, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. We are at the Tapestry Folk Dance Center in Minneapolis. We do classes every Thursday, we teach a different dance form every Thursday, and we also do shows throughout the Twin Cities in which you have music, you have dance, you have patterns and colors, and we tackle different social issues, which are very critical and relevant these days, through those shows and spread the message. And now it's over 100 people in this group, and we have all different kinds of nationalities and, and cultures and skill set. There are folks who are first-time dancers, which I'm not, and there are folks who have danced since they were born, and I'm somewhere in the middle. The way it starts is that they break down every movement into the simplest form so that everyone can run it. So even a couple of seconds of songs is broken down into 15 or 16 movements. And over one and a half to two hours, you'll learn about one, one and a half minutes of that song. Two, three, and four. Once you get the beat, it almost becomes reflexive. When you're doing random things and we're all out of sync and then there's that one moment that the music starts and everyone catches the beat and creates that magic on stage. That split second is, is just magical and it creates a lot of energy in the room. And I think that's because we are learning together, we are struggling together. It, it forms a very good bond between us. I work with a lot of scientists in my day and a lot of non-scientists outside of work. And I don't really see any difference in terms of approachability, in terms of how grounded they are, how fun they are, you know, how, what kind of hobbies they have. I think that's a stereotype that has been uh, perpetuated for a long time and it's largely incorrect. I actually did not know I have this kind of a fun side to me, honestly, just because before dancing. I have always been active in some sort of sport. This is something in which you're not really, com you're still performing on stage, you're still learning something new, but it's not competitive. So in my mindset, it's more relaxed. I wouldn't have ever thought that me being from the background that I'm in would ever learn ballet or contemporary dancing. My main idea is to have fun and learn, but I think I have more fun and less learning, but I'm, I will take it.